Hello and welcome back to this course. My name is Sajish and this video we will see how to deploy a resource group in Azure. So all the prerequisites we have discussed in the previous video. Now let's go ahead and deploy a simple resource called resource group in Azure. So first step, open your favorite editor Visual Studio code and create a directory for your project. So you can uh, go to uh, this file menu and open a folder and you can create your own folder where you want to place. So I'm just uh, selecting this C drive uh, and creating a directory called uh, Terraform uh, work and where I will be placing my uh, Terraform project files. Okay, create that directory and uh, select that folder, right? and uh, choose this uh, trust option and uh, use this yes option right and uh, you can see that directory has come on the explorer side on the left hand side and here i'm going to create one more directory uh, which i will be using for placing my project so first one i'm uh, named as project 01 and i will be creating all my terraform files here the first step is provider tf so inside the provider tf i need to place uh, the content uh, which will try to communicate with my cloud so for azure cloud provider so we can open a browser and search for terraform provider for azure or just search with the terraform provider choose uh, this uh, official uh, site like registry.terraform.io and here you can see uh, three types of providers are available official which is something like uh, HashiCorp will uh, provide and the partner uh, which is something like uh, the products uh, vendor is giving and the community uh, is normally like uh, people who develop and publish here and our Terraform connector will come under I mean the Azure connector comes under official and you can choose that and uh, you can see uh, pretty much details documentation everything on this provider and uh, use this uh, use provider option and uh, then you will get an option like this copy this entire content and uh, paste it into your file uh, called Terra provider.tf so here uh, the name you can use the provider or providers and whatever the name uh, is convenient you can use uh, the next is like uh, so we are just uh, searching the resource group uh, how to create the resource group you can search in uh, Google and uh, copy so this is something like a resource Azure RM resource group so create another file and uh, I'm uh, naming as main.tf okay so where I'm placing uh, my content so here if you look you have uh, some keyword called a resource which is nothing but the normally we need to use and Azure RM resource group so if you want to deploy a resource group you need to use this for other resources there is something different name an example is the local name which I have uh, used and uh, I have given the resource name when the location so this example and the resource group name example can be different you can use any name okay and uh, the location is the location where you want to deploy the name is something like the name of the resource group and uh, once added uh, you can save this file and open an in integrated terminal where we will be executing our terraform commands so before that we need to log into our azure portal using this ac login so we will be using this credential in backend for our deployment and it will pop up and uh, where you, we need to authenticate by using our ID. So if you already did login, so it will comes like this. Otherwise, you can use your credential to log in. So select your credential and uh, uh, go ahead. Then that's it. So we have authenticated. Close that. Here you can see uh, the commands, whatever the um, display output here. So it's uh, authenticated by using your ID and uh, the next is like uh, we can uh, go to our portal and uh, see uh, currently existing resource group 
so from the portal left hand side menu we have favorite option where you can choose this resource group so currently uh, two resource group already exist which i created sometimes back and uh, we are trying to create one more resource group here by using this terraform scripts okay so this is the file main.tf and provider.tf so these two files i am using in provider.tf i have explained or i have added so what which uh, cloud provider or which provider i am going to connect and in the main.tf i have added my main file so this provider.tf i have copied from the um, terraform side and the first step i am doing here is terraform init so which do initialize so basically uh, it will create some folder it will download some plugins whatever the plugins we have added here it will download so you can see this file dot terraform so where you can see one uh, file so whatever the plugins it, and uh, modules we have uh, added in our terraform tf file will be downloaded and saved here so next is uh, we can uh, do some syntax check or validation by using terraform validate command so validate command ensures all our terraform tf files are correct in terms of syntax and semantics so this will ensure your code is perfect so next we can do a terraform plan which will print and display what are the resources it's going to deploy just use this terraform plan and see uh, we have some error it's saying like insufficient uh, features block in there on the provider.tf so that is because we have to add this uh, feature uh, inside that and uh, do init again and then plan so this time uh, that error message is not showing so we just added features and open and click curly brace and the plan has printed this message like it's going to deploy one resource and zero uh, change and zero destroy the next step is we use terraform apply to do the actual deployment once prompted confirm by typing yes so that it will continue the de deployment process again the deployment process will take some time based on the uh, type and number of resources and now we can uh, come back to our azure portal just to refresh this sometime it will take some time to reflect you can see this resource uh, group example has deployed and it's in west europe location so we have given the location as west europe so you can change this name uh, to some other name or uh, location to some other name uh, to deploy other resource uh, once it's deployed we can delete that by typing terraform destroy so terraform destroy will uh, destroy whatever the resources we have uh, deployed and again it will also take time uh, it it will have to de delete all the resources that we deployed again back to the portal and refresh so this time that example resource group has gone so that's it about the deployment so here we use the simple uh, deployment so deployment of uh, a resource group using this terraform script i hope you are clear thank you for watching this video so if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you